Hey there, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and you spoke with my partner Jeff earlier and requested this free video. So today we're just going to go over a few tips you can start applying right away, and it's really going to help with your online presence, as well as getting more of those organic leads, so you don't have to rely on paid lead service programs, referrals, or partnerships. Uh, because nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from this website. So it is really important your website be properly designed and optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right, so we're on your website. You've got a great looking website. I like the call to action, appointments, click to calls. That's awesome. I love that you have separate pages for each of your major services. This is also really good and exactly what you need. Um, and if you can break them out even further, I would. Um, you need a separate page for every service. Um, and you don't want to keep it generic. If you, if you can um, break down these services into other services, I would have those as separate pages as well. Because what you do is you're, you're, building content around each of those services. So you can focus on your local buyer intent keywords, the, the keywords people are actively searching in your area for these services. And that's what helps you get found organically for each of those services. I also like that you have a couple service area pages. If you're servicing um, multiple areas outside of Las Cruces, then it's going to be really important that they each have their own service area page. These pages should be like mini home pages, a summary of each of your services focused on the local keywords for that specific location and that specific service. Um, however, if you actually look at these pages, that's not what's going on. And um, they're very limited. They're not really talking about your other services. So these pages are really missing missing the point here. Um, all right. So looking at your homepage, looks like we have some interlinking. So that's good with your SEO. Um, a little bit of content. So you have more service list services listed here than you have uh, for pages. So I would be adding extra pages for these additional services. And just quickly looking at your content, you do have a fair amount of content, which is good because Google ranks websites based on content, not based on appearance. So the more content you can have, the better. So that's good. But what I'm noticing is there's not really any local buyer intent keywords that you're targeting. It's pretty much all branded. Um, and unfortunately, most people do not shop for service by brand. They shop by the service that they need. And so by only focusing on one type of keyword or a brand, you're missing out on a ton of customers. So do focus on those local keywords. But yes, you do have a fair amount of content. So Google wants at least 1,000 to 1,500 words, 250 words for every going to target. Um, but you're always going to need more than your competitors. So whatever they're doing, you're going to need to do better. Okay. And that's pretty much that. All right. So um, let's go ahead and look at your top competitor in organics and Las Cruces. And we have Roto Rooter. Okay, so yes, these guys are a franchise, but you actually don't have to compete against the entire franchise. You're only competing against this one specific location. And because franchisees have their hands tied and cannot modify their pages, add content to refocus their keyword strategy, you have the advantage because you can write as much content as you want and really dial in on your keyword strategy to capitalize that traffic coming to your website. Um, let's see. So these guys don't really have enough content. 
Um, it looks good, but just not enough content. These guys should be super easy for you to beat, but you're also going to have to use SEO, search engine optimization, because without that, your website will not be found. And if we look here, you've had some SEO going or currently do, um, but you only have a rating of a nine out of a hundred in Google stress flow, um, which could obviously be worse, but still isn't great. And this score is based a hundred percent on your backlinks and referring domains. And while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal. Um, this is a popularity contest. You need to make sure that you're only going after links that are directly related to your services and industry and that are do follows so that they can help you rank these keywords and drive this traffic. All right, now Google's only gonna give you credit for one backlink per referring domain, so anything else they look at is spam. And if we look here, only 88 of yours are do follows, which means you only have 88 good backlinks supporting your website. Um, but you are getting, you have an index for over 200 keywords and you are getting over 500 people on average to your website. But looking at the keywords, it looks like most of the traffic is coming from branding. And unfortunately, your branding is also a national keyword. And so when you're focusing on near me's and branding and national keywords, most of the traffic you're going to get is false traffic um, because you are a local company and not national. When you focus on ranking <coughs> these national keywords and actually get them to the first page, most of the people that visit your website are not going to be local because very few, if any, will ever be local. So you really need to focus on your local keyword strategy, keeping in mind people search differently and you want to be able to capitalize on all of their searches. Now, if we look at your competitor, um, we don't care how their website is performing, only this one page you're competing against and they have a 21. Most of that score is just based on how strong their website is. But this page does carry 413 backlinks and 22 referring domains. But of those, only five are do follow. So they actually have only have five keywords, I'm sorry, links helping their website. They have an index for 16 keywords and they're getting approximately 99 people to this one specific page. So um, these guys are definitely going to be beatable, but you really have to work on your content and keyword strategy. And then the last part of this is the Google business profile or Google my business page. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this page for each of your service areas and services <coughs> because 30% of people search here and don't go anywhere else. So when you're not listed here, you send those leads to your competitors, leaving money on the table. Now, in order to be in the top three, if you're not, you're going to have to further optimize your page. And you're going to have to go get more citations. And that's the name of your business, address, phone number, and website. And linking those to a bunch of directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and Glassdoor. So you are going to need a lot more of those than your competitors. But when you follow all these tips I have provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one across Google for each of your services and service areas. Now, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Um, we would really love to get your feedback. And if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.